Hi everyone, and welcome to Creative Chelsea. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up or commenting below. If you want to see more of my videos, press the subscribe button and click on the bell for notifications. If you need any Stampin' Up! products to make these cards, you can visit my online store and the link is in the description box below. When you purchase Stampin' Up! products through me, you can earn free products. Check out my current customer appreciation products on my blog. The link is listed below in the description. Today I'd like to share with you another sheet load of cards by Call Me Crafty Owl. This is the March 2021 sketch and template, and you can get your free template by visiting her YouTube channel, and I have listed the link in the description below. So her template creates 12 cards this month, and it uses two 12 by 12 pattern papers. And so what I wanted to do was continue to play with some of the celebration items that were offered in January and February of this year from Stampin' Up! And so the paper I'm using is from the Paper Blooms Designer Series paper. And the two patterns that I wanted to play with are this blue background with these really large flowers, and then I loved the pink background with the tiny flowers. Then I didn't really love how they worked together. And so I decided to use the back side of each paper for that little accent piece at the bottom. So you really see four different patterns here and her cards do specify using just two patterns, but I am using just two pieces of paper, but just the front and then the back side. And that's a fun thing about Stampin' Up! paper. Um, their designer series paper is printed with the patterns on both front and back. And then the other products I'm using today are the In Bloom stamp set, and the bundled with that is the Pierced Bloom dies. And one of the fun things I love about these dies is that it has this really cute piercing all throughout. So it comes with flowers and leaves, and it's just a really cute die set. And you can see here that cute piercing on all those fun elements. And there are 25 pieces in that die set, and so you're really getting a lot of options. Now let's go ahead and see the cards, and then we'll just share a fun technique with you today as well. All right, so these cards all are a little different because I cut out all of the flowers and then I arranged them in different groupings on each card. So I do have some that are my favorite. But I think they all turned out really cute. So another fun thing that I did with these cards is that I used the greeting on some vellum. And to get that to be more bold, I used the Versamark ink and some white embossing powder. And I think that it just really creates a fun element to these cards because you can still see through the vellum and just get a hint of what's behind it. And then you can see the greeting coming through. I really enjoyed making these cards and using all those petals and leaves in different ways. I've also used a little bit of the Seaside Spray ribbon here from Stampin' Up, which coordinates nicely with the cardstock I used for the card base. Okay, so here is my quick technique. So what I did for these flowers is I took the coordinating colors. So I've got Rococo Rose, Petal Pink, Seaside Spray. I also have um, Soft Sea Foam and this one is Pear Pizzazz. And so I took those colors and I cut out about a fourth a sheet of cardstock. So that would be four and a quarter by five and a half. And I took all the dies that I wanted to use. So I took all the flower dies um, for the um, Rococo Rose and Petal Pink and Seaside Spray. And I cut all the flower dies at one time. And to make it quick and easy, when I line them up on the first piece of cardstock, so what I'm doing now, just took all of the, the flower dies, and I think there are more, I just didn't grab them all. So something like this. And then 
instead of just running it through my stamp and cut and emboss machine just like this I decided so I decided to take some washi tape and tape them all together so that when I am ready to run them through the next color of cardstock I don't have to rearrange them again so as um, I'm just kind of working my way around and taping each of the dies to another set of dies to create a one solid die set and then it makes it much easier to cut these all out at one time and I'll just kind of show you that So you want to do this on the cardstock piece that you're cutting so that you can stay with inside that dimension. So you can see here that they're all connected and once I run it through, I can then carefully lift this up and then lay it down on my next piece and it um, run that through and so you can just get multiples of these images really quickly. And that is just my little tip. I hope you have enjoyed seeing my version of this month's sheet load of cards from Call Me Crafty Al. Remember, you can visit her YouTube channel to get your own free template. Don't forget to check out what the other amazing designers have created with this template as well. You can find their links in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.